All right, guys, we're back on the build. Now, you've already seen all the changes I've made to this kit. I have another one to make here. And this one is going to focus on the mirrors. Now, if you can see, the mirrors are more or less a correct shape. They're a little flatter than they should be. But, uh, you know, you got to work with what you got. The one thing that really bothers me about these mirrors is the way they attach to the doors. Can you guys see that? How the uh, mounting stem for the mirror just kind of takes a right angle right to the door. That could not be further off from what they really look like. Not to mention the way these tires sit, but that we already addressed that. It just annoys me, so I got to keep harping on it. That is totally incorrect. As the mirror's stem should mount flush to the doors, not with a right angle that goes into the door. Now, I don't know if that was at some point some sort of a mounting tab that they wanted you to slide into the door don't know because there is no recess or opening in the door to allow that to slide in so uh, i'm going to show you what i did to change that now as you know i pin my mirrors which is i install a small metal pin in the mirror to make them easier to mount to the doors and then i uh, just insert them now let's see if i can show you guys what i did here you can see the mirror and you can see where I cut off that right angle bend or that 90 degree bend where it's supposed to go into the door. Now, after I did that, I inserted my pin into the mirror, as you can see there. And that pin is going to be able to hold you to the door. Now, I have my spare body here, which is uh, uh, becoming the test bed for everything that I'm doing to this car. And what I did was, I fit the mirror onto the door. I've been drilling holes just to get the proper mounting position. And then I applied a piece of tape to use as a template for when I put the mirrors on the on the uh, Fiero, on Fiero Blue and Fiero Red. This way I can mount them in the exact same position as I did on the other one. So what I did initially was just figure out where I wanted to mount them. Then I laid the piece of tape over it, traced out the door lines so that I can have something to align it to the other model. And then I'll just drill the hole in the exact same position as what's already in the tape. And I should have the exact same mounting point. Now, let me install the mirror and I'm going to show you what the difference is, the way they look when they're in. Give me just one second. Oh, okay guys, I'm back. Let's see if you guys can actually see this here. There we go. And here we have the mirror installed. And it goes, if you ignore the tape, right into the door without that annoying right angle bend. And it just holds it just slightly off the door, just similar to what the mirror, real mirror does. Or how the real mirror looks. Now, when I glue them down, I have to give them a little bit of downward pressure just to hold them straight so that they sit straight and not at an angle. And this should be the look that we get on the mirror now again the mirror is not exactly the right shape because it's a little flatter than it should be but this oh just dropped something there is a vast improvement if we hold it side by side with that one you can see let's see if we can do it side by side here show you guys both of them Here's my mirror mount. And this is the way the kit mirror mounts. And you can see mine mounts in a much more realistic fashion than what the kit mirror does. So this fixes another one of the flaws in the kit. So now we're going to start drilling the holes in Fiero Blue's body, which is the scary part. And uh, we'll make our mirror mounts. Alright guys, I now have it installed into Fiero Red because I thought it would be a little easier to see it in red with the black contrast. So, here we have... Let's see if we can... There we go. The mirror in Fiero Grey, the way the kit wants you to mount the mirror. I'm not sure. Come on, focus, focus, camera. 
right there you can see the way it sticks out on that post which just looks kind of silly to me and here we have fiero red where it's much closer to the body and looks quite a bit more realistic and once there's a little bit of glue in there it'll make the seal right to the door looking a little more like the actual fiero mirror so that's going to correct one of the few remaining glaring errors in this kit okay now to start masking fiero red because there's a lot of paint work left to do on that the same as what we did on fiero blue so we'll be back when that's done here and as you know the cord windows are all black with the insert that's uh, transparent which will fit right there on the rear quarters of the car so I've made my uh, masks have them installed in the quarter windows and now we're gonna apply some paint we've already painted on the body where the windows go in black and now we're going to apply paint to the back of the quarter windows in black and uh, this is going to be a three-step process to get these windows done the first is to uh, mask and paint the back in black then we're going to apply decals which I did find decals that'll work for this and I at least I hope they'll work and then we're going to apply a clear coat over the outer edge of the window once the decals are installed painted on their backside and now we're just going to remove the masks and now we'll just take a look at the, our end result our first quarter, 
quarter window finished. We're almost finished. You can see that our mask was a little outside of the lines, but for the most part, it came out really nice. With what's painted on the car, I think it should work out perfectly. show you what our finished results are going to look like and there we go quarter windows not installed yet as we still have to add our decal and our final step with the clear coat well guys the quarter windows came out great initially, and so did the decal. But then as I was working on it a little bit, I noticed the decal just started to wrinkle up. And they are not going to be acceptable. So we're going to have to start all over again. I do have, I am reaching out to a uh, decal maker out there and seeing if he can reproduce these decals for me. If they can... That'll be great, and we'll try it again with some fresh decals. So you got to remember, these decals are over 40, uh, probably huh? 40 years old, and just weren't going to lay properly. So, we have to say goodbye to these quarter windows. And we have another set already done up, uh, ready to go, but with no GT labeling on them. So, I am going to try... Hopefully I can get these decals made up so that I can apply them to these windows and see exactly how I'm going to seal them in there. As I'm really happy with the quarter windows, the way they came out, the way they fit the car, they just look great. Just not happy with the decals. Well, I mean, really can't really blame them. They're like 40 years old. Who expected 40-year-old decals to actually work? Yeah, this guy did. But uh, this time, not so much. So we're still going and working on the project. Well, this will be probably the last part of the car that gets done. All right, now to finish this video off, we're looking at the bit of the body detailing, much like on Fiero Blue, or not much, exactly like on Fiero Blue. We have all of our front storage area components installed. You'll see our washer tank and our coolant bottle both installed there and both have their respective fluids in them. I have installed the headlights in the lowered position in the body the way they should be, not like the kit tells you to do, to install them to the hood as the Fieros never had them on the hood. They were all on the on the body. The hood only maintained the held the doors. And now you can see we have our iconic Fiero center uh, molding in black. Our intake, there's our quarter window area with the black to back up the quarter window. We have one mirror attached. And we have our, wind, our windshield fit into place. Still have to polish the glass out. But you can see all the molding is painted up. Fits perfectly. One thing I have to say about this is that the glass just kind of snaps into place and kind of just holds itself in it's almost like a friction fit on this because when you let's see if we can get this to focus you lay the glass in it tucks in underneath the fenders on each side and just kind of snaps into place there you have to flex it a little bit and just pop it right into place and it just kind of stays there honestly well you should put glue in it because it does raise out easily but uh, honestly, if you didn't put glue in it, it's not really going anywhere. But definitely should glue it down just to make sure that it doesn't move. But uh, I am, again, loving all the detail that MPC fit into this kit. There you can see the firewall. I did a little bit of dry brushing on there to bring the details out. So that you can see all all the engraved details there. It really does look good. 
NPC really did put a lot of effort into making as many details into this kit as possible. Here we have the carpet getting ready for carpeting. And this, I think, is where we're going to leave it. All of the work we've done on this video brought us right to this. So we're getting closer and closer to the end as Fiero Red is going to start going together with all of its major sub-assemblies, just getting detail work now. Along with the interior, if you guys remember this, I know it's been a while. And once all of these details are done, we'll start putting her together. And then it's going to be the same process of lining up the wheels that we did on Fiero Blue. guys that's gonna be it for this video hope you guys enjoyed a little look at the the detail work so I guess I will see you on the next one and remember like subscribe hit that notification bell so you'll know every time a new episodes coming up and uh, let me know what you guys think come on talk to me I love hearing from you guys you are big reason as to why I do this. I just enjoy sharing my work with you guys and I love to hear your feedback on what I'm doing. And if you got any ideas on how things uh, I can do things a little bit better, but yeah, I'm always open to learning new things. All right, I'll see you guys on the next one.